Video bandwidth and distribution of Talking Scuba is provided by Blip TV, a next generation television network for independent shows. Do your part by donating today by visiting TalkingScuba.com. Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Talking Scuba. This is episode 10. I'm Bob Shoemaker, an advanced open water instructor. And I'm Jim Norton at DiveCon. And we are already drunk. In this episode, we're going to just be talking about uh, Bon Air. Yes, your trip. Yeah, it was very My fun. My goodness, that, we're jealous. It was a lot of fun. We got to, uh, we flew out on like a Friday afternoon, got down there <clears throat> into Bon Air, and it was hot, extremely hot. We were sweating. We were still wearing our pants, our long pants oh. coming from the North Country here. Uh, wore our long pants. Uh, my nuts were down to my knees, but it, uh, it was a lot of fun, you know. Once we got down there, we, we met a lot of new people. Um, we actually uh, nicknamed one guy because he was kind of obnoxious. So we called him the Shweddy Wiener. <laughs> and, uh, and the whole week, he's wearing nothing but Speedo bikinis. He's an extremely overweight guy, super hairy. Everything's hanging out of that Speedo. It was not pleasant. So we called him the Shweddy Wiener, and he was with uh, four of these gals. We called them the Dusty Muffins. They were these older, heavyweight, heavy uh, gals. So we called them the Dusty Muffins. We thought that was pretty funny. And, and uh, we saw them everywhere. I don't know what it was about this guy, but every morning at breakfast, this guy had more and more women in his flock, in his harem. But he wasn't nice to the girls or anything. I don't know what the deal was. Did you take notes? <sighs> I should have been. I might have learned something. Could have got my own Dusty Muffins. That's right. <laughs> but uh, the diving was really good. Good. Yeah, we, we got to dive, uh, I think I had 24 dives in by the end of the week. Uh, our shortest dive was 55 minutes. 55 minutes. So over the course of the week, I think we spent uh, 25, 26, 27 hours underwater. That's pretty good. Wow, that's real good. Yeah. i seen some of your video. You had some really sharp pictures of a stingray. Yeah, we had, uh, well, it was a spotted eagle ray. We spotted got some pictures eagle. of a stingray. I was, I was not filming for that dive. Uh, but we got some good video of a couple different spotted eagle rays. Those are actually two different ones that you saw. Okay. Um, but uh, they look, they're both in a similar situation. It was pretty cool. It would, it would glide around. It would uh, land down there uh, on the ground. It would start kind of filtering some of the sand through until it found whatever it was eating. And then it would swim on to the next place. Well, what happened was on one of our later dives later in the week, um, we, were, we were diving along, we actually spotted the eagle ray, and we were in a, a group separated from, from uh, the other dive team that we were with. Uh, it was two, two groups of two, and uh, we saw him swimming around. Uh, we stopped and filmed him. He swam around us once, swam back down around the beach, and he just kept doing these big laps. So if we stood there, he would come back to us. It was pretty neat. We got a really good opportunity to film him, take some really cool pictures. Now, you'll notice maybe uh, if you remember some of the past episodes, I was wearing glasses before. Um, now I've actually switched over to contacts. I was actually kind of prompted to do it uh, just because I knew I'd have really good visibility there. And I was like, ah, I don't have a prescription mask. I should probably get some contacts. We had visibility upwards of 100 foot, 100 plus foot. Um, so it was a really awesome opportunity to see far since I can't see far very well. Uh, we got to see all sorts of cool stuff. Besides the eagle rays, we were... Uh, hunting with tarpons every night, going out oh, fishing wow. with tarpons. Cool. The, uh, the tarpons there around, uh, we were at Buddy Dive, around their resort there, um, we had our lights out, and the tarpon will actually come up and swim with you. When you shine your light on a fish, that tarpon will actually come up and try and he'll check out that fish. He'll turn sideways, swim by it, see if it's what he wants to eat. If it's what he wants to eat, he'll actually go and, and eat that fish that you're kind of playing God with um, and uh, <laughs> the power yeah I loved it um, that was the closest I've ever been to running out of air uh, I was oh, diving nice. with my friend Julie and uh, we're diving along and and I'm just having the time of my life not paying attention to anything and uh, she goes uh, how much air do you have because she's a little bit better on air consumption than I she comes up to me and she says how much air do you have and I look I was like uh oh I had 500 pounds left it, granted we were in like 14 foot of water but still I should have been playing a little bit closer attention but man that was one of the coolest experiences of my life I loved cool. loved going out with those things one of the other cool things we did was uh, we we're diving on a shipwreck called the Hilma Hooker so we got a lot of opportunities to make jokes about going down on the hooker uh, and 
<laughs> different stuff like that. So we had we had hooker jokes all week. Uh, Great. We were one of the first people that week that were able to go on it. So we figured everybody else on the on the trip got sloppy seconds on the hooker. And <laughs> right. we, we had a really good time uh, okay. diving now, the helmet. Is hooker. that the one you had the the, the video of that? Uh, the steel hold ship. Yeah, it was a steel hold ship. Um, you know the it's a bandit ship of some kind, a drug runner. Yeah, it was a drug runner. Um, it sank right there, um, just offshore. I mean, it's really close, easy shore dive. That's the whole week we were doing shore dives. We had dive boats coming up and doing different r dives while we were there, um, but we just were able to do everything from shore. It was really convenient. Right. Everything is so easy there in Bonaire to dive. Um, like I said, the Helma Hooker is is my, one of my favorite dives there. Um, some of the other ones I really liked, I like Tolo. Um, if I ever have a kid, I think I might name him Tolo. It was <laughs> one of the doing? coolest places I've ever been. Um, you got kind of sheer rocks um, up against the wall. It's kind of a difficult dive to get into, but once you're in there, there's just huge reefs, um, big corals, uh, hard and soft corals, that's what she said. And we were just able to do some really great dives. Uh, we had a lot of fun on, on Tolo, Carpata, all these different dives. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, you were telling me there's just a lot of sea life, more than you'd seen before. Yeah, this was actually one of my first dives out of the country, um, and I just really had a great time. We were able to see a lot. Um, some of the other stuff, we actually got to see a um, seahorse. That was the first seahorse oh, I'd ever seen. I'd never seen one. We were working hard all week to find it, and... Uh, on the, one of the last days, one of the people, other people that we were diving with were like, oh, yeah, we saw two, two seahorses. We're like, are you wow. kidding? Well, one of them was a fake. Somebody put a fake seahorse oh. on the reef. <laughs> and uh, so we found that one. Then we uh, were diving along, and we actually found a real one. Um, and they were a lot bigger than I had imagined. Oh, it, was, really? it was probably, I don't know, six or seven inches tall. It was pretty good really? size. I thought they were only maybe... Yeah, I, that's what we were looking for all week was something about that size, maybe even a little bit smaller. But he was pretty good size. Um, so I was really excited we got to see that. Um, some of the other footage, we got really good footage of uh, some turtles, green and hawksbill turtles. They were really cool. A couple of them were tagged. That was kind of neat. Um, we actually were able to get close enough where we could actually read the numbers off of the tag. So we were able to report that um, to, the, to the turtle researchers, and they were able to do that. Uh, we also got to um, see some of the more interesting uh, things on the dive. Um, lionfish, that's what I was trying to think about. Oh, yeah, I've seen the, the footage you had of the lionfish. Yeah, the lionfish were pretty neat. Yeah, they're beautiful fish. What they do there on the island is they have these little markers. It's like a plastic tape, and they wrap it around a like a wine bottle cork. So the wine bottle cork will float. Um, you'll tie that to a piece of the dead coral when you see a lionfish. You go back to the resort or you go back and they actually record it into these books. So some of the local, the dive guides and stuff like that, they will go back and actually uh, exterminate those those lionfish. Oh, wow. So, and they've killed uh, quite a few of them. Um, we were a little bit upset because we didn't think they cared all that much, but then come to find out we did a little bit of research and they found that they've killed you know several hundred, uh, I think upwards of a couple thousand of them. Uh, wow. Just there on Bonaire, on Bonaire and Klein Bonaire, which is right next to it. Okay. We just had a really good time. Um, the the one bad part about it was the food. Wasn't so good. Well, I've had better. Ah. We were <laughs> the first day we were there. Um, me and Julie ordered a, a couple of hamburgers, thinking we were going to get beef hamburgers. Sure. And uh, we sat down and and we both took a bite and we're kind of like. This isn't beef. We look at it, it's a real lean meat. Mm. No, we didn't, neither of us finished our burgers that day. <laughs> um, but then we come to think about it a little more. We never saw any cows on the island, but we did see a lot of goats and we saw a lot of donkeys. Mm. So between donks and donkeys and goats, I'm pretty sure we had one of those for dinner. Probably, I would have to guess an ass burger. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Asperger. <laughs> Gross. Uh, but uh, we did find a good place to eat. We were eating at this place called Blue Cactus or Cactus Blue or something like that. And they had really good uh, pizza. It was kind of a gourmet pizza stuff, and it was really good. Uh, so we did end up uh, 
eating some better food. We just didn't like it where we were at the resort. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Did everybody speak English? Uh, actually, there's three languages kind of spoken on the island. There's there's English, Dutch, and like kind of a Spanish Creole language, um, which a lot of the native uh, speakers were there. It was kind of interesting. Um, there they've got uh, a mix of kind of the white and blacks and Hispanics and everything. It was a real neat meld of everybody there. It was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed that place. Um, so I want, uh, hopefully you guys got a good chance to see some of the footage that uh, we shot there on Bonaire. Uh, we're actually going to put some other stuff up on YouTube so that you can see the rest of the footage. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for stopping by this week. We had a lot of fun. Um, now don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and visit our website, TalkingScuba.com. Uh, to review all the show notes and links. Do you want to have, if you want to have your email read and answered on the show, send your viewer submitted email to us at fans at talkingscuba.com. Uh, we look forward to reading them on the show. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week and to the next dive. To the next dive, but one more thing we got to try. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. So divers delight. Divers delight. I promise you guys we try this. <laughs> We're going to try it. All right, you let's ready? do it. This is the first time. All right. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. No, it's kind of like Gatorade almost. Yeah, kind of a Gatorade. Uh, this would hydrate you. This would be pretty good after a dive. I think it would be really good with some vodka. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what is it supposed to do for us, Jim? Well, it's supposed to hydrate you. This name th this is the very first thing. It's supposed to help with uh, uh, electrolytes rapid hydration, and uh, pretty much renew your energy. Sweet. So that's Diver's Delight. Get uh, your gill on. Get your <laughs> Best saying ever. All that's right. Great. Cool. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for stopping by.